What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make this super cool trippy glowing outline effect. I think this will spice up your videos, really add a lot of creativity to it. I just, I'm in love with the effect, really looks super cool, so that's what we're gonna be going over in this video together. But if you're new to the channel, welcome to the squad, my name is Gus, and I run the Friendly File Store in which I sell editing pads, presets, and templates that are meant to sauce up your videos in just a single click with drag and drop presets, templates, and many more. So if you're interested by any of that, you can check the link down below. Now with that said, let's get right into this. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, put a marker, at least know when we want the effect to happen. So I think right there, I want for the effect to come in. So we're gonna do right click, new adjustment layer. And then onto that, we're just gonna do command shift D, cut this. And then that's what we're gonna have. So I'm gonna go to effects and presets and we're basically just gonna like build the effect together. So as you can see, I have unshot mask. If it doesn't make sense, just trust the process. Everything is gonna come along together super well. So I'm gonna increase the radius right here. Do I decrease this? Yeah, something like that looks cool. And then we're gonna use the invert effect, slap it on there. Then the next effect we're gonna use is the curves effect right here. So let's slap this on and then let's decrease this right here. So you see what's going on right now. So we're basically like, like creating or kind of like outline effect. So that is pretty cool. So this is what we would have so far. So you guys see the vision, but we are not here yet. Next thing we're gonna add is like an actual color. So we're gonna do a U and saturation. That way we can change color. Like this is a nice color. I could even make the color change. I think that would look super cool. So let's do this. Uh, let's keyframe the stopwatch right here in the beginning. And then let's go until the end, until right here. And we can make it spin like three times. That way it's gonna look like this. So now we get this nice color effect going on. Now onto it, the edges are a bit harsh. So I think I'm gonna do directional blur just a little. That way it's gonna make the edges a bit less intense. Maybe I can put that before the curves. Yes, no, that's gonna be after the curves. But uh, yeah, just like that, just a slight detail. And then also always very important that we're gonna add some glow to it as well. Now I always say you can use the glow, uh, the default glow that's at After Effects. For me personally, I like the Deep Glow plugin. This isn't sponsored, but uh, yeah, like it's a really good plugin. I'm gonna go and type Deep Glow. So now we have a nice, glow right here let's see what that looks like all together that looks pretty nice but we're not here yet now before we add anything to the effect what kind of like breaks that sequence is the fact that there's no transition in it it doesn't look stupid but it definitely needs some sauce so i'm gonna put you onto something we're gonna do a new adjustment layer and then i'm gonna go to my new wave fx v2 preset so basically basically new wave fx v2 is 30 plus giant drop presets from like trippy presets, grudgy presets, basically so you can get all of the effects that's like trending right now. I love using best shake. I'm just gonna drag it on there. So this is a shake, a trippy shake. Then bam, you get this crazy shake. I love that one so much. It's super crazy. So now we have our transition. If you wanna get new wave FX V2, I'll leave the link down below. If you wanna level up your edits in a matter of a single click, avoid doing everything from scratch. I definitely recommend copying new wave FX V2. You can get it down below and I'll even put a code for 15% off. Now let's get right back in this. All right, so this effect is cool. I think what we're gonna add though, a flicker. So we're gonna do exposure. Let's make this flicker before the glow. And then let's, so we're gonna do alt click. So we're gonna create an expression wiggle. Let's do 12 and then three maybe. Let's see what that looks like. All right, it doesn't seem like it's doing a whole bunch. I'll try to do more. I guess that works. The effect is almost there. Now what we need is to create a bit of like disruption to it. We're gonna create this kind of like VHS trippy effect. Let me show you how to do that. Let's go. Let's type turbulent displace. Then we're gonna slap it on right there. Then the size, we're gonna five. Let's try increasing it. Oh, not what I want. That's because we need to go to displacement. displacement and then select horizontal displacement. That way you get this nice kind of like trippy effect going on. So I think what I'm gonna do is make it like three, but then add 
wiggle 24 comma and then five that way you get this kind of like disruption we're gonna have it wiggle so the size will uh, be different every time let's see what that looks like that looks so fire that looks crazy to me no, that looks insane that looks insane and i think to this we need to add some you can even change like the complexity if we put it to the max it would look like this oh yeah i'm for sure keeping it like this that's super fire and then we could keyframe the amount as well wiggle 24 and then let's do 300 you know that's fire and i think that this we also need to add some motion blur for sure. So we're gonna do pixel motion blur on a new adjustment layer. Let's hop it on. Then we're gonna put it behind this. There we go. Wow, this effect looks so cool. That's so crazy. That's hard. That said, let's look at our final result. That was it for today. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. If you enjoyed this video and if you're watching any value, please consider subscribing. And also let me know in the comments what else you want to see on this channel. Uh, what do you want to see as of tutorials? Also, if you're looking for some really fire editing packs, make sure to check New Wave FX V2 down below. We got some crazy presets. That way you can level up your edits instantly. With that said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.